The new morph transition effect was introduced in PowerPoint 2016 and provides a quick way to add animation of individual elements of a slide as you move to the next one. I find it effective for emphasizing a common theme or topic among certain slides. There are three types of morph techniques that you access using the Effect Options command on the Transitions tab. The first is object-based. Use it when elements like photos, drawing shapes, charts, and text boxes will be reused on the next slide, but in a different area, style, or size. The second type is word-based. Try this out when you have similar headings but wish to tie them together for emphasis. The character-based morph rearranges individual characters that have been repeated between the two slides, like an anagram effect. To use the morph transition, duplicate a slide or copy one or more elements to the next slide. Then move, resize, or change some style components. In this case, I will also need to slightly adjust the text after resizing this chart. From the Transitions tab, apply the Morph effect only to those slides that have elements copied from a previous slide. On the second or subsequent slide, I will also want to remove any animation that might have been initially applied to it. The repeated objects move to their new location and are resized in the process. Other objects will fade out before new ones fade in. This concept works well with design elements also, like these straight line dividers. So experiment with the new morph transition effect in PowerPoint for your next presentation.